I've had a few people ask me how these port light um, frames work um, and what the principle is behind them. So I thought I'd just give everybody a quick rundown of what it is I'm, I'm actually doing. So that's the finished product there. Um, if you imagine that this steel plate here was the cab inside, what I'll be doing is cutting out the hole that matches the outside diameter of this um, frame and then I'll be sinking this frame or in, in sending it almost up until it's flush along this edge um, with, this, with the cab inside. Um, the reason for that is my cab inside has got a compound curve so it curves in this direction as well as up in this direction slightly um, and I can't put a port light in that curved surface. So this inner, inner frame, this inner ring you see here is flat um, within you know, half a mil. It's a pretty flat surface. And once I inset this frame into the uh, cab inside, I'll, I'll, make it, I'll push it back as far as it will go without there being any, um, how can I explain it? I'll, push it? I'll push it back as far as I can go without any part of it being below the surface of the cab inside. And then I'll tack weld it from the inside in place, around the inside. And any excess on the outside then that sticks above the cabin uh, side, I'll trim off. And then I'll run a weld all the way around it and then uh, tidy it up. And so this will become part of the cabin side. So that's the first part of it. Why have I got these two rings? The, the simple answer is the design of the port light I'm using is really designed for uh, fiberglass boats. And obviously the, the cabin section and hull sections of fiberglass boats are much thicker across this diameter here. Or, oh, sorry, across this dimension here, they're much thicker. So when I purchased these port lights, I knew they were not designed to go through the skinny steel plate of a steel boat. So my idea was one, to get around the curvature one was to make the box and two, be able to fit this into this frame. That's the first two parts of it. Um, how, how the Lumar port lights work is pretty straightforward. If you imagine this surface here will become the kind of pseudo um, cab inside. So the actual port light looking at it here the underside of it the ceiling the ceiling surface which is this edge here will sit flat against the edge there when I put it in and I'll show you that in a moment once that's in position um, this this backing ring it fits from the inside that way round and it goes on the underside and I'll just show that to you it fits against that inner ring like that now you can see there's a clearance between the edge of these rings and the screw holes so basically the, the distance between these two rings is simply to artificially create a thickness that's deep enough to allow me to use these type of port lights. So if you can imagine now that this, this steel frame is, is inset into the cabin side and welded in position, from the outside we'll pass the, uh, the Lumar opening port light through until it butts up against the outer ring and in this fixing ring, I'm sorry if I wander around with this camera, it's hard to do it with, with this inner ring, sorry, which fits that way around, then goes in position against, goes in position against the second ring, the inner ring. And basically all that happens is you insert your screws through these holes, they go right through and pick up on the screws on that inner flange of the port light and clamp it in position. And that's basically all it is. Um, obviously around the outside of 
this uh, this opening pool light will put sealant against that, that outer face. Um, and so the effect I'm hoping to get from this is one, I'll get a flat pool light that will sit into a curved surface, which is the, the primary aim. And secondly, um, I get to recess the pool lights just slightly below the surface, which is, um, is a look we wanted along our cabin side. The, the reason this project came about is uh, I was originally going to put dead lights, just fixed port lights through the cabin side um, but my wife Kathy really wanted opening port lights um, particularly for the galley area and shower and head <laughs> sorry about that yeah particularly for the shower head and the galley so um, and this is what we came up with it's a bit of work, but in all, in all reality, with, without all the problems of the, the plasma cutter breaking down and stuff like that, it probably would have taken me three or four days to make all of them, uh, and probably the same to fit them once I get round to it. And if I give you a look around the front, it's sitting a bit lower in the frame, it'll sit a bit higher in the frame than that, I'll, I'll, I'll space it evenly around. It's not clamped in position yet, so it's just sitting there. Um, and you can see there's probably a 5mm clearance all the way around between the frame and the actual pool light itself. So they don't look too bad. One other thing I did do, you can probably just see there, is I put a small drain lip um, along, that, along that bottom edge there. Um, there's a very, very, very gentle lean on the cabin, probably, I don't know, 5 degrees maybe, something like that, maybe a bit more. Um, and so that will encourage any water that does run down the inside of that frame to run out and, and just exit down at the bottom lip there. Well, I hope that's cleared up some of the mystery with these port light frames and um, you get a better idea now of, of how it works and the principle. And, um, and I hope you enjoyed the process too. Okay, thanks very much.